Hey, what is up there, YouTube? Hippie Viking here, and uh, you can see there's a, a notebook and a pen here in front of me. I'm hoping that you guys can help me solve a little debate that I got going on in my head. See, I came into some extra money recently, and I have two opportunities before me. I could either have a girlfriend, or I can have an Xbox Series X. Why not both? Because I can only afford one. Let's get down to the debate, you know? I just realized something. Even if I could afford to have both a girlfriend and an Xbox, I imagine the girlfriend would get mad at me for playing the Xbox because most of my girlfriends from the past have gotten mad that I played video games. Well, some of my homies said, hey, just get you a girl that plays games with you. Man, that's the problem. Most of my previous girlfriends have played games with me and I didn't like it. That wasn't fun. You know, actually, I had one girlfriend that would get mad at me just for turning the console on. I wouldn't even play it. Like, she would just get mad if I turned the console on. And you know what? To the best of my memory, I've never had a game console judge me for how long I've played video games for. All right. What the hell? Now, I gotta be honest, y you guys aren't the first people I brought this debate up to with, but like, I had somebody tell me like, well, you can't have sex with an Xbox. Well, okay, firstly, if sex is your only reason to get into a relationship, you probably shouldn't get into a relationship because it should be based on so much more than that, like love and trust. Those are way harder to find than the other thing. And uh, secondly, uh, you know, circling back to you can't have sex on an Xbox. Have you seen the size of the, like, fan holes that the Xbox Series X breathes out of? You're gonna see me try to fuck that thing. Ugh. Oh my god, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Help! Help! Alright, to get some of this started, let's go ahead and start listing some pros and cons here. I'll, uh, put down the category as Xbox and girlfriend. I'm just gonna write GF and then put a line under them all and then uh the one one of the big advantages to the xbox series x is the controller yeah uh, y you know actually I, I just realized something that the xbox and the girlfriend would have in common so the xbox has a controller but the girlfriend would probably be controlling or at least that's been my experience that that doesn't mean that it's a fact not every girlfriend is controlling just every girlfriend i've had has been controlling um yeah, I just got that, got that list right there. It's listed. Hmm. Ooh, ooh, the Xbox Series X is uh, backwards compatible, and um, I think that's that's uh, that's lit. Hell yeah, backwards compatible. Would a would a would a girlfriend be backwards compatible? I mean, if you think about it, probably. But what does it mean? You know. That could be advantageous to me, but I mean, of course, it could also be implied that backwards compatible means going back to an X. You know what, actually, this is really, like, low-key objectifying. I think we're, I think we're done with the list. I think, I think we're done, we're done with the list. We're gonna set the list right here, and we're just not gonna list things anymore, because, you know, on one hand, we have an object, and on the other hand, women are not objects. So we're not, we're not doing the list anymore. We're not doing the list. We're, we're over it. All right, so as previously mentioned, I can only afford one of these two opportunities as they are both really expensive and come with their, you know, their own monthly subscription stuff. The Xbox has Xbox Live Gold, which is $60 a year, and Xbox Games Pass, which is $10 a month. Now, the best option is obviously Xbox Games Pass Ultimate, which has Xbox Live Gold included with it, as well as access to over a hundred games and EA, something with EA, I don't remember what it's called, and of those hundred games, all Xbox exclusives are included in Xbox Games Pass Ultimate, so that by far is the better deal, which will cost like, what, $150 a year? I, I, fuck if I know, man, I can't math. $15 a month times 12, and whatever the answer is, that's how much it costs. Well, now let's get down to the cost of a girlfriend. Um, I'm just gonna say it outright right now. You can't afford it. 
It's not possible. You'll go bankrupt. Many people have. Even billionaires have. Uh, you know, um, but as far as, like, what you can expect to pay for, makeup. Makeup is really expensive. Uh, I don't know if there's, like, monthly subscription stuff, but there most certainly probably is. But I remember, like, around Christmas, one of my girlfriends I got a makeup set for, that shit cost me $300. I cannot afford that on a regular basis. Um, you know, fortunately for me, I can never keep a girl around for too long. Uh, blessing or a curse, depending on who you are. For me, more of a blessing sometimes. But, you know, women are not pets. They are people. But you still gotta feed them or they get angry. It's a damn good thing chicken nuggets are on the dollar menu. You know? Another valid point that I just thought of, I share a room with my roommate. I love that guy, he's cool. But I'm, I'm pretty sure he would rather watch me play the Xbox than, you know, the other things with a girl. You know what I'm saying? That would just be weird. You know, actually, it's a funny story. There was one time I had I had a homie over, um, and uh, this individual was bisexual, and I also happen to be bi sexual and we were having some drinks and my roommate almost walked in on me getting my dick sucked so yeah i i think he would much rather i got the xbox if, if he were to put in some input on here like w w which he would rather see you know um yeah he would much rather watch me play like gears of war or something i'm sure of it you know this decision is a lot harder than i thought it would be but i just realized something that i've been basing this decision all off of my past experiences and generalizing the word girlfriend all under what my exes have put me through and just because my exes have hurt me doesn't mean that this girl is going to hurt me everybody's different you know i think i'm gonna go talk to her and get this all figured out hey guys so i went and talked to her i, I talked to that girl and i actually feel loads better but she did say that she would want me to spend less time making these YouTube videos. So that being said, you're not going to see me upload as frequently because I just went out and I got this. I'm, I'm, I'm actually really excited. I, I can't wait to play the same games that I've been playing for the last 10 years. Hey, I love you guys. You guys have a great day. My best friend is this pen. It's been getting me to get up when I'm feeling like a shell of my own self. I gotta quit fucking dwelling for him sentence to a cell. So I murder him with words. I'm pretty sure that it's my purpose. I'ma hit him where it hurts. I've been waiting to go berserk.